Hey everybody, iPod Luigi 505 here. Back for the first episode of Epic Yarn in absolutely ages. Starting off, we're actually going to hop back over to Treatland because, as I said in the last episode, we'll be taking on the very last level of this world. Dark Manor. So I apologise for how delayed this episode has been and also generally how poorly I've been when it comes to my, my recording schedule for this LP. In fact, this and um, Return to Dreamland, which is still going to be going on. And Here we're introduced to an item, I'll just interrupt my commentary. This item, basically, its sole purpose is it, lets, it lights up and lets us see. And as you saw there, if we do lose it, we can just grab these glowing enemies. So yeah, opinion on this level is that I actually love it. It's really cool level design. Aww. Um, but yeah. I think it's cool like this, I mean. Look at that. <laughs> ah. Oh crud. Um, no. That gives us all these bees, which leads to the first treasure chest. A ghost in the box. These toys can be unpredictable and scary. So, yeah, that's already one treasure done. Oh, we can't keep him. Um, by pulling that, we light up these candles. Um, ah. Very nice, and up here is more beads. <sighs> That's nice as well. If you look carefully, the dark areas of this level are actually... Well, it looks like denim. So, that's pretty cool, little aesthetic designs. But stuff like that that makes me really like this game. And because I like this game, I wanted to help it. But yeah, unfortunately I've been bad when it comes to remembering to record, and uh, what's up there? <coughs> Bless me, I have hay fever. Yeah, and unfortunately I just had to be outside because, well, I was busy doing stuff, so, uh, yeah, so my hay fever may not be in the best condition in this video, in which, in which I apologise in advance for if that's the case, and more beads, and, oh, okay, so, Oh, so we come through here and, well, we're outside again. Oh. Ah, and we've landed in the water. Oh. Ah, handy. I kind of don't like this bit, not because it's water, in fact, that's something I'd like to talk about, water levels. Yeah, um, I see a lot of hate for water levels <sighs> amongst gamers, and I for one can see why, why that would be. They are generally quite annoying levels. You are kidding. Yeah, 
water levels can be quite annoying, but at the same time, I think water levels in like the Kirby series actually ha are handled quite well in terms of how they play. That's just an opinion of my own. Crud. I can't go back. Um, whatever. I just have to work it out. <laughs> I will probably miss secrets here. Okay, that was... What could I stop getting hit by enemies and I just lost a load of beads? Ah, oh, crap it. Okay, I have a fit. I have a hunch I'm gonna lose a load more. Or not. And I'm... <laughs> I'm not doing well today. Oh. Okay, apparently that doesn't work either. Oh. Okay, so now we're just going to go through here and go up this rather old elevator. Yeah, I'll admit this level is kind of weird. I mean, the music is one thing, and found one treasure and I haven't even got gold. Come on, let's go. Damn. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Silver. Okay, so that was a total failure. <laughs> 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 well, anyway. I'm actually going to cut the video off here. And... Uh, right, what I'll do is cut here. And then if I find the other... And when I find the other treasures, I'll come back to you guys. See you in a minute. So, up here, I randomly found... A pumpkin. This pumpkin looks great as a quaint decorative item. So, that was um, back here by this. Um,
so yeah. And so I managed to find the final treasure at the near near the end of the level. <laughs> I completely missed this. It was actually where was it? It was in this area. <laughs> near the end. Yep. And as you can see I'm on gold, I just need to get to the end of the level and I'll be done with Dark Manor. <laughs> so... Yep, just kill those and... So that's very nice. And I managed to redo this in one other playthrough, so yeah, not too shabby. So now if I zoom out we only have one level left to go on this world before we can then move on the mushroom run because it's the only level where we still haven't got a treasure chest so I'll cut here and be back once I found it I guess ciao and found it the theme from mushroom run up here in the final part of the mushroom run where, well, yeah, where you're, well, mushroom hopping, <laughs> I guess is the way to call, what to, you'd call it. Oh, and very nice, very nice. So, yeah. With that, we have now fit completed Treatland, and to be honest, I'm actually glad about that. I think Treatland is not a terrible world, I'll be honest, but I do think it takes far too long to complete. But yeah, so with that, we'll, next episode we'll be able to, we'll be able to start on the next world, Waterland. So, until then, see you guys next time.